Designing for responsive print and digital collections in the Learning Commons is a cyclical ongoing process to ensure collections are balanced, support curriculum and student reading, and involve teachers and students in connections for knowledge building experiences and personalized learning as outlined in the Leading Learning Purple Standard. As Ross Todd says, from collection development to connection development. The Alberta Learning Commons Policy Guidelines present key points to attend to when building responsive Learning Commons collections. Focus on quality learning resources in multiple formats and provide exposure to a wide variety of Canadian and international resources, both fiction and nonfiction, which reflect multiple perspectives, promote literacy and numeracy, and develop students' interests and competencies beyond the school setting. These resources should include those that recognize and respect Indigenous knowledge and ways of knowing of the First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples. Reflect and support the cultural and linguistic perspectives of Francophone communities. Responsive collections need to be kept in good condition and updated. To be kept fresh as you can read about and download the poster on the Adventures of Library Girl blog. To support the inclusion of Canadian content and equity resources in print and digital Learning Commons collections, use sources such as resource links, the Canadian Children's Book Centre, the Quebec School Librarians Network, promoting Canadian identity and diversity in your library, and the wiki creating an inclusive learning space. Links to the sources are on the reference slide. In Alberta, since 2000 to now, 2017, the English language arts curriculum mandates that students learn how to evaluate resources and use library systems starting in grades one through three and progress throughout the grades in general outcome three, managing ideas and information under access information. In grade one or two, you could introduce library systems using fiction picture book author surnames, a great way to reinforce learning the alphabet and introduce a variety of authors at the same time. Introduce the Dewey Decimal Classification System in relation to decimals in math. Have students paint, collage or draw pictures or posters of subject areas and display in the Learning Commons. The possibilities to involve, inspire and connect Learning Commons and curriculum are endless. Key descriptors for rethinking resources collections are a collection plan is in place based on student learning needs. There is a balance in resource format between print, digital, audio, visual. Print and digital resources are updated, weeded and in good repair. Procedures for access coordination and sharing resources are in place. Basic Learning Commons technical routines are organized and managed through automated systems with centralized support. The LC budget is prepared yearly by the LC team based on student learning outcomes. 
Share and discuss questions from the learning guide with other staff members. How are print and digital collections developed at your school? How do you obtain feedback from students on what Learning Commons resources are most helpful to them? How is feedback from teachers obtained about what resources are most needed and effective? How are suggestions for acquisition of new or alternative materials sought?